Hey guys, this is Alex from Answered Tech. I've been using a Mac full time for the past few years, and in that time I've discovered some really useful apps that I think you should download if you have a Mac. Today I'm going to be talking about five of these Mac apps in no particular order that I make sure I always have on my computer. One of my all time favorite Mac apps is Magnet. Magnet is a window manager that allows you to quickly resize windows by dragging them to the corners of your screen. The app also includes support for up to six external displays, and it has customizable keyboard shortcuts, which can be used to resize a window without even dragging it to the edge of the screen. Especially on devices with smaller screens like laptops, the ability to quickly and accurately resize a window to fit either the whole screen, half the screen, or even a quarter of the screen is essential in my opinion. Mac OS X El Capitan does have a similar feature, but I don't find that it works as well as Magnet does. Magnet solves one of the biggest annoyances I have when working with multiple windows simultaneously, and I definitely recommend that you check it out. Another app which I find to be really useful is called Yoink. Thanks to the developer Eternal Storm Software for giving me a copy of this app to review. Yoink gives you a temporary spot to put files, freeing up your mouse so you can find the location where you want to place the files. A simple drag and drop maneuver isn't always straightforward if the intended destination is in another window or buried within other folders, for example. Yoink solves this problem by giving your files a place to rest as you navigate to the correct directory. If you drag multiple files to the Yoink window, they're put in a stack so they stay together when they're dragged back out, but they can also be separated and dragged out individually. Yoink appears on the screen by default when you begin to drag a file, but it's also possible to change this behavior, so Yoink appears when the mouse is placed at the edge of the screen. Further, the position and size of the window can be changed depending on your preferences. If you manage a lot of files and folders on your Mac, I would highly recommend Yoink for its simplicity and convenience. App Cleaner is an app that has always been on my Mac when I need to uninstall an application. Removing an app by dragging it to the trash leaves behind application data that is no longer necessary, and it takes up excess hard drive space. App Cleaner finds files associated with the app you want to uninstall, making sure the app and its files are removed completely. The app is quick to install and is very simple to use. Drag any application from Finder into App Cleaner and it will search for the associated files. Once it's done searching, a list of files will appear. Make sure the correct files are being deleted and then press remove. App Cleaner will then move all the application data to the trash. A feature called Smart Delete, which is built into the application, detects if an app is put in the trash and then offers to delete the associated app files as if you were in App Cleaner itself. Overall, I would highly recommend having App Cleaner on your Mac so you can quickly and fully uninstall applications. The next app I want to talk about is called Caffeine, which is a simple to use yet extremely useful application that resides in the menu bar of your Mac. When the app is enabled, your Mac will not fall asleep or display a screensaver, so you can use your computer without interruption. This app is a much more convenient alternative to changing the sleep settings and system preferences. To enable caffeine, all you need to do is click on the icon in the menu bar, and you can click it again to turn it back off. A predetermined amount of time for which caffeine is enabled can also be set so the screen does not stay on endlessly. Further, a default time value can be set so a frequently used setting does not need to be selected each time the app is enabled. Caffeine can also be set to start at login, as well as activate when the app runs. Even if you don't plan on using it often, Caffeine is a great app to have on your computer if you need to prevent it from falling asleep. The last app I want to talk about is called the Flux. Flux is similar to Night Shift in recent versions of iOS, allowing you to change the color of your screen depending on the time of day. I've found that my computer screen is much more comfortable to view at night when I use this app, especially if my computer screen is the only light source in the room. Flux lets you set both your location and the time you wake up in order to change the color of your computer screen at the right time. There are also multiple presets built into Flux, which allow the app to change the color temperature of your screen on a predetermined schedule. You can even make a custom color preset if the built-in presets don't suit your needs. This app has been really convenient to have when working on the computer in the dark, and I definitely recommend that you give it a try. I would highly recommend all five of these apps since I think they make the experience of using a Mac even better than it already is. I'll have links to all five of these apps available in the video description. 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.